Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This is, of course, is going to be about the Rivian. Um, good friend at EV Base sent me some more accessories, as you guys know. Um, kind of liking what they sent me so far. The running board's been working out great. And um, since uh, I installed these, I noticed, um, the truck hadn't been washed in a while, uh, after driving the rain right around here, or here, I get a lot of stuff that flies through these areas so i noticed they had a, a mud flap so i was like uh, would you be kind enough to send me mud flaps to see if that solves the issue so they sent me mud flaps and a couple other goodies uh, so i'm gonna open these up i already took a sneak peek to see what it is so they sent me three boxes and the first one which is the easiest one is the the phone holder and one thing I gotta tell you, the, the quality, it's gonna be hard, I don't have a tripod, and it's slightly windy outside. One thing I like about this particular piece, the quality is really good. Um, I was surprised, I thought it was gonna be some sort of plastic situation where you, know, you just have a, a plastic arms and you just stick a piece to it. Uh, this is proper quality built. Uh, for a phone holder, so it's 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 a really good looking piece. It's aluminum, stainless steel. Uh, the ma magnetic piece looks really good. Uh, of course, you stick this piece onto the back of the screen or wherever else you want it, and then this uh, you know tilts around and all that. So I'm really really impressed with that. I'll be put, putting this in use again. You just stick this on the back of the screen or something, and then you can have your phone you know next to you. And uh, it seems to hold the position pretty well, and this is also tilts. Um, so thank you again. This works out great. Uh, I'll be putting that on uh, shortly. Um, the next thing they sent me was the the uh, license plate. I already drilled holes on mine. I wish they had sent me this earlier. Uh, but again, it's a good quality uh, from what I can tell. Uh, it's a heavy steel. It's uh, coated and uh, comes with instructions, which is nice. And it's very simple. All you do is just, if you look at the instructions, I I should put, it, uh, put the two pieces that give you around your tow hook, mount the bracket through, and you're done. And you end up putting your plate screws right here. And they give you all the hardware you need, and including, which is I'm really liking recently, they start including all the base tools that you need to do the job so I'm, I'm really happy with the way they making these products um, um, before it used to be not as good instructions to get and get, get better at it so props to EV base for making this um, I wish they had made it before I drill holes in my bumper but I'm pretty sure I'll figure out how to plug those in because uh, if you put the license plate with a factory mount in the center you end up seeing the camera every time you you know, use the uh, front camera, which I use it almost every day to park inside the garage because it's pretty tight. So this is definitely going to help. So I'll switch that out uh, once I figure out how I'm going to plug the holes in. Uh, third, final, not not the least, the, the one piece I really wanted is the mud flaps. Um, came with instructions, which is nice. So for the front, looks like you just need to take the three factory screws out. Again, they give you the parts, you know, the tools you need, just the torque screws. Uh, I guess T20, 225, and T30 wrenches. There's three wrenches right here. And uh, you, you reuse the original screws on the front, uh, tighten them out. And for the back, uh, use the longer L shape. Uh, in this case, they had an option to go smaller mud flap or uh, a bigger one. So I picked the smaller or whatever the standard size is because uh, I'm not running, not planning on running oversized tire. So it doesn't stick out, um, and I don't see the point of having the mud flap stick out past the tire. Uh, I'm going to uh, put those on, and the reason I want to do those today, as you can see, the weather's not bad, the wind calmed down, but tonight uh, we're supposed to get some wintry mix coming in in this D.C. area. Um, so I want to get this done before the snow comes in, and this weekend we're supposed to get some sort of a uh, major storm coming through, so I want to have those on before I do anything else. So I'm going to pause the video here. I'm going to put the mud flaps on and I'll bring you guys on what I had to do to get it done for the rear looking at the instructions I uh, they do include these two brackets 
uh, they go into the factory uh, stuff. I guess you don't have to drill or do anything else. So I'm going to put these on, at least the front and one on the back, and then I'll bring you guys on because there's no point watching this because I just got to follow these instructions, which seems to be pretty clear in case they're not. I'll uh, let you guys know if they're missing anything. So hang tight. Well, welcome back. That was easy. Easier than I thought it would be. Um, took me literally two minutes, maybe three. Uh, one trip for putting the front in, turning your uh, wheel all the way in so you have easy access to these screws here. And uh, they send you, I'm not sure how the quality is going to come out. So these already are there from the factory. You take these four out, put this guard in. Uh, your flap in and then retighten them. Uh, keep them loose. Do it from the bottom up as it's winter right now. So this is not as flexible. I figured it would be rubbery, but it's not. Um, one thing it does do is covers your arrow vent here. Um, that brings a lot of stuff in this direction. So I'm hoping that doesn't affect the efficiency as much. It might not. One could just cut a hole here and then, you know, let it out. But again, the whole reason you want mud flap is to block the mud from coming toward this direction. Uh, but they fit perfectly. They're right at the tire side. So these are the smaller ones. And again, the tools worked perfectly. Uh, what they sent me is what I used. And for the rear, only thing that I needed to have tools for is the bottom bracket. So this bracket comes in. Uh, basically, this goes to the back of the mud flap. And this is attaches to the Rivian. Um, what I had to do for that is basically, and the nice thing about these, uh, this is the smaller one, this for the rear, so it attaches right here. They did mark, I guess these are both for Rivian R1S and T. So the T, so you got the top hole and the bottom one aligns here for the R1T and the bottom one aligns here for the R1S. So this piece right here, this final one that attaches to the bottom, they do give you a longer screw for it and that's what the third key is for it's a little bit bigger get a washer and these two smaller attaches that uh, for that you need a Phillips screwdriver uh, to attach it that, that bracket they give you and a seven mil um, so you could do with pliers and a Phillip so the, the way back one works out is basically you losing these two screws from your fender and then you make sure you have the bracket in already let me show you from the bottom so that bracket goes right here from the last screw and then it holds it pretty tightly right there. So that worked out perfect. Uh, I kind of like the way they look. They don't stick out too much. They don't look like two off-roady flappy mud flaps. So I'm happy with those. It took me about two, three minutes to put those on. I'm going to do the other side before I call it a day. Again, it's very simple, very easy. Anybody can do it. Um, and I'm hoping they take the mud off of... Uh, the, the side of the truck which has been annoying me since we've been going through a little bit of off-roading and uh, a bad weather so that side of the truck is always dirty as heck anyway on that note if you do like these things um, use my discount code it's meant to be uh, I'll try to put that in the description um, I'll try to do a follow-up review like I said I'm loving the the running boards and everything they sent me so far has been great and uh, like you see on my truck I've been using them and uh, they're coming handy, especially having the dog ramp going in now, having uh, my dad and my mom go to the doctors, it's easier to just step in. Anybody that's slightly high challenge, it's... Uh, one other thing on the, on the the when you're installing these, put the truck on height, um, highest height, uh, not off-road height, but this is just a standard high or normal drive mode high. Uh, that way you have easy access to those uh, screws um, on the back and the front. On that note, please uh, like, subscribe, and share. Hopefully these are helping out. And uh, EV Base, thanks again for uh, hooking me up with some of these accessories. Um, so far, they're looking good. And the instructions are on point, by the way. Thank you. Take care. Have a good one.